welcome back to my channel again, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. Excited to kind of give you a comparison of the 247BH Transcend to the, and the 261 Bunkhouse Transcend by Grand Design. These floor plans are very similar, but let me show you some of the differences. So on the door side, starting with the 247BH, you're gonna notice that the awning is about two feet shorter. This is about a 15 foot awning where you're gonna get a 17 foot awning on the 261. Both are gonna have basically the same storage up in the front here, 43 cubic feet of storage, which is awesome. And notice how the doors are magnetically held in place. So the difference on, as I said, the 261, other than you're gonna have a two foot longer awning is the fact that you're gonna have your outside kitchen here. Now included in the outside kitchen, you're gonna have your refrigerator. So nice little refrigerator. Able to keep your condiments outside. Now you're gonna have your LP quick connect out on both of them, but this one's gonna have your two burner cooktop on it so you're able to cook on it. And of course, a little storage up above here with a 110 outlet. Now on your 247, your LP quick connect is gonna be up front. And I have an 18 foot LP hose that I use with my Blackstone griddle. So just because the LP connection is up front there, doesn't mean that's where you need to put your grill, griddle, whatever. Now on both of these, they're gonna have the metal fronts, 20 pound LP bottles, and that helps keep the tongue weight in check, power tongue jack, and then plenty of room if you decided you wanted to put two batteries up in the front area here. So this is the front. Now for those of you looking for a stick and tin trailer, and by the way, this is probably the best stick and tin built trailer on the market today. What I want you to check on, and fortunately when you're at, uh, at our dealership, we're able to show you a couple others that are stick and tin. And what I mean by stick and tin, it's you have two by twos for your framing, and then it's metal for the exterior. I want you to go ahead and feel this metal on here. This metal is 30 to 40% thicker than the competition. And then the other thing is, don't be afraid to bang on it. Now the benefit of this textured metal and the thickness to you is the fact that in the event that you get caught in a hailstorm or you back into something, this metal, much more solid, less chance that you're gonna go ahead and damage it. Now when you look on the off-door side, both of them are gonna have the ladder to get up on the roof. And I'll get up and show you the differences up there as well. But 247 does not have the slide. The backs are gonna be the same as well. You're gonna have your windows off of the bunks, your spare tire, the bumper, as well as it's wired and frame for that Furion rear observation camera. So as you can see on the 261, identical on the back, you have your ladder, but there is your slide out, and I'm gonna show you what that does for you on the inside as well. Kind of give you a look as far as what the roof looks like up top here. Now they are walkable roofs. So this is the 247, and then looking over at the 261, really the only difference you see is of course the slide out, which you can walk on the slide out if you needed to as well, but the ladder is used for you to get up on the roof to clean it. Um, also inspect it and of course on the 261 you're going to want to inspect that roof on the slide out prior to bringing it in. Now you're also going to notice that it is set up for the Jaboni solar panels if you wanted to put those on the roof as well. So there is the roofs for you. Now on the outside you're underneath your awning you have outside stereo speakers you're also gonna have it set up where you can put your TV out here with your 110 outlet. So you have 110 outlets there, and of course cable or your local channels can be watched on your TV. You're gonna have a nice big 
grab handle as you're coming in. Let's go on inside and take a look and see what it looks like here in your 247. Good space, and I'll tell you, for uh, under 30 feet, nice thing is that you have the sofa as well as the dinette. And what I like about these um, bunk beds is the fact that you don't have a ladder getting in the way. They can use the dinette booth to actually get up on those, and they have individual curtains for each of the bunks, their own lights. And right over here, you have your 12 volt as well as your 110 outlets for the bunk beds. Down below it, good storage area for you. And that's where your water heater is going to be located in this one. The bathrooms are going to be identical. Plenty of room in front of your uh, toilet there. You've got the heat duct in it. You're also going to have your, you have your AC duct power fan and what I like about that power fan ladies and gentlemen is the fact that you don't have to open a window when you're using it now they're both also you need to check this out this is amazing this specially imported Italian tile from Taiwan uh, they do a phenomenal job with that you need to check that out when you go ahead and go out and take a look at your next one now something I don't particularly care for is this shower door, but that's easily that's an easy remedy, and that is to put a uh, just a spring bar behind it with your curtain. That's what my re oh, that's how I would resolve that issue. I know some people like it. I don't particularly care for it. Continuing in the bathroom, of course, you have your medicine cabinet, your sink with your storage down below. And as I said, you have plenty of room in front of that toilet. Now, when you're sitting on this sofa on this side, it makes it very nice and easy for you to uh, look up at the TV, looking directly across from it. And then, of course, with the dinette booth, nice thing with that is the fact that you're able to look right out onto your camping spot. Good size refrigerator. And by the way, you know, with refrigerators, I, I'm really not, I really don't care how big the refrigerator is that I have. I could have a 6, 8, 10, 12, 18. I still have two or three coolers with me when I am camping regardless of how big the refrigerator is on the inside and even if it has one outside I still have one or I'll still have at least two now we're still in the 247 and this is gonna be your kitchen area nice little L-shaped kitchen 110 outlet like the fact that it is down on the counter making it easier for you to plug in your coffee maker or your toaster and of course the glass doors for your storage, good size form sink with your high rise faucet, and then storage down below. And then take a look at your Furion oven there with the three burner cooked up. Now, the other thing I like about what they have here is with this air conditioner, I just turned it on. But this air conditioner, these ducts do not work anymore. I'll post a video down below on why that is the case, but that's pushing twice the amount of air through the duct work for that and you're going to appreciate that especially in the bedroom area so this is looking out at your living area lots of people love how when you come in you got this counter space here with the 110 outlet because you can put your shoes your slippers if you wanted to here you got drawers to put some odds and ends things that maybe you want to be taken outside makes it very easy for you fact that it has another power vent fan here again I like this power vent fan better than a fantastic fan from the standpoint that I'm, I'm normally leaving the air conditioner on and I'm not drawing the hot air in or the cold air in so that's what I like about that now those for those of you that are looking for airflow obviously the fantastic fan is the way to go or the max air fan nice little coat hangers here in your hallway if you want to consider that but then a pocket door making it nice entering the bedroom actual residential uh, size bed 60 by 80 so the sheets that you have and the blankets from your home are going to fit windows on either side of the bed if you'd like you can put a tv in here and of course on either side you're going to have 110 outlet and then of course on this side besides the 110 you're going to have a 12 volt outlet and then a little hanging closet on either side and storage up above the bed as well as storage down under the bed for you. 
Notice how I don't have to use my head to hold that thing up while I'm putting things under or taking things out. Listen how quiet this air conditioner is. This way here, if you were sitting here watching a movie, you're not going to be drowned out by the air conditioner. And I know what you're asking, Paul, how am I supposed to watch a DVD? Well, that's simple. This is your AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. It's also Bluetooth, so you're able to listen to your music inside and outside, controlling it with your phone if you wish to. So let's get into 261 and see what the differences are here. Now I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, Paul, that's not very much room compared to the 247. That's actually even less room. Well, you are correct in, in seeing that, but the reason why it's less room is because right now the slide is in. I just wanted to show you that you'd be able to actually get to the bathroom you're actually able to use this whole camper with the slide out in. So looking at the bedroom, you're gonna notice the bedroom is very much the same. No differences here whatsoever. Also, notice I didn't point out the one thing that is missing in these campers. And I'm showing you this floor as we speak right now. And that is the fact that you have no heating ducts on the floor. Now, I know you're probably saying to me, Paul, what the heck is the benefit of having no heat ducts on the floor? Benefit is you don't have all that dirt, debris, dog dander, popcorn kerners collecting in it. And then the other benefit is you have the heat. It is going to be blowing across the camper instead of just straight up. So that is one of the major differences. Now, take a look at how much room now that you have in here. So you have the same coat hangers as you come in the door light sensor, you're going to have your same little uh, nook crannies there, countertop. What's going to be different is with this is in your kitchen. Now you have a little bit longer countertop, but notice now you have an extra outlet, which the other one did not have. Now they moved your cooktop, oven, drawer there, and the microwave into the slide out as well as your refrigerator. But now the benefit you're going to have instead of having a jackknife like a futon style sofa, you have an actual two recliners. And for those of you that, you know, maybe you're a left hand or a right hand or it doesn't matter what seat you're in, you do have a cup holder for that. So your TV and stereo is going to be the same. The beds are the same. Storage down below the bed and under the dinettes are the same. And by the way, that dinette can break down to a bed as well. Your bathroom is about going to be identical. So all that is the same. The only thing is you've only you've gained a, uh, a little over a foot in length and you've gained all this additional space on the inside due to the fact that you have the slide out. Now, what are you thinking of the uh, fabrics for your dinette? I like what they do here. You have, a, you have a choice. You can go ahead and have it look plain Jane if you wanted to, or if you want to add a little bit, you can go ahead and turn that cushion around and add some color to your dinette cushion. Which one do you like better? So from a floor plan standpoint, which one would better suit you? And of course I realize it comes down to what your vehicle is able to tow because that really is the difference. I mean, you're looking at a difference in weight and length. So keep that in mind in the event that you're looking at these. I mean, it's 30 foot nine inches versus under 30 feet on the other one, but the difference is slightly heavier due to the fact that you have the additional length as well as the additional room because you have the slide out. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The 261 versus a 247 in the Transcend by Grand Design. Which one works for you? What do you think of this layout? There's a great layout for people that need to sleep multiple people. Both of these are gonna sleep up to eight people. Now keep in mind, the individuals sleeping on the dinette are gonna to have to be children, but uh, 
they give you a lot of versatility. So thanks for watching, appreciate you do watching. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking these videos that I'm doing. Also, do consider to subscribe to my channel. And if you're in the market for an RV, be sure that you call me. Information's right here, also down below the video. But appreciate you watching. By the way, if there's something else you'd like me to compare for you, by all means, put a comment down below, reach out to me, and I can see what I can do. So thanks for watching. I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.